Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Doucette, and for this week's discussion on the fundamentalist modernist controversy, I will be discussing the Scopes trial, also referred to as the Scopes monkey trial. The Scopes trial was the persecution of a Tennessee high school science teacher for teaching evolution in his classes, and this went against the Butler Act that Tennessee had in place. In 1925, John W. Butler presented the Tennessee House of Representatives uh, with a bill that would make teaching evolution a misdemeanor and saying that it's uh, denying the divine creation of man that is taught in the Bible. Uh, right off the back, there was opposition, especially from the American Civil Liberties Union. Uh, John Scopes was a teacher at Rhea County Central High School in Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, this is where he taught algebra, chemistry, and physics when he was put on trial. The uh, ACLU uh, wanted to challenge the Butler Law, and Scopes actually volunteered to go on trial uh, to help challenge this law. Um, even though Scopes did not teach biology, he did admit to using textbooks that support evolution, and uh, this became a case of religion versus science. Uh, Minard M. Metcalf was a zoologist that took the stand for the defense, and his purpose was to explain the science of evolution and give it some legitimacy. And this is where um, the controversy of using scientific testimony came, as the state and courts mandated to exclude any scientific testimony out of the trial. Uh, in a newspaper article I found on the Chronicling American Database, William Jennings Bryan, the prosecution lawyer, states that the only issue in this case is this. The jury must decide whether Professor Scopes violated the law. To permit testimony of experts would be to substitute a trial by experts for a trial by jury. And that there was no need to hear the scientific reasoning behind evolution. Um, this main reason was that any scientific testimony had no bearing on the case because uh, the only question was if the law was constitutional or not. Um, this decision uh, was also made to prevent the trial from going on too long as the trial had only lasted about a week. Uh, this case created a spike in interest in the theory of evolution and according to a newspaper from the ProQuest database, um, many librarians and uh, many librarians uh, were recording a rush of books on the theory of evolution, um, along with new works. The older writings from Darwin and Huxley uh, were also going very fast and they couldn't keep them on the library shelves long enough. Uh, the trial had an impact on the level of interest in studying and understanding evolution. Uh, in the end, Scopes was found guilty and was to pay a $100 fine, but later the verdict was overturned. The question then aroused whether if the whole trial was a publicity stunt just to draw attention to the small religious town of Dayton, or if it was an actual attempt to discredit evolution. Thank you.